guys hey everybody welcome back to the vlog today is actually sunday february 26th i just got back from the gym it's almost about like 2 p.m um we have some things to do today but first i wanted to show you like the work in progress that is my new office space so <clears throat> My living room area is over here. We have a projector, so this is like ideally where our TV goes. Um, and then around this corner, there was just like essentially space for another living room. So I decided to make this portion like my office and workspace. Like I said, huge work in progress, but um, that's what I was working in the other day. And I just came down here to update my weight loss board so let's see where i can set you so my goal is to like lose 50 pounds kind of by summer it would have been preferably like april may um we'll see we don't know yet but i have actually lost about five pounds so far so I'm really stoked and excited for that. This is just like a little thing I saw on TikTok and I talked about it in my last, but well, I didn't talk about it. I showed it in my last vlog, so. So anyways, like I said, I just got home from the gym and I'm gonna do like a quick little get ready moment, nothing too crazy. Got my water. I'm gonna make a smoothie as well, just because I'm kinda hungry, but what I want is something I'm gonna have to go shopping for anyways. So, tomorrow, I'm out of breath. Tomorrow's my sibling's birthday. They're turning 21, and they are the youngest out of all four of us. So this is really exciting, it's a big birthday. Um, they like a lot of like different stuff, Trader Joe's, they just bought a car, so. The two aren't related, but they're related for what I'm saying. So I'm thinking I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's, which is like a 40 minute drive away from my house in the opposite direction of where they live, but that's fine. I'm gonna get a gift card, probably grab some things there. I also have not been to Trader Joe's in years, so it'll be nice to just kind of like go in and see what they got going on. And then I'm gonna get them a gas card and I'm gonna stop at the dollar store, get a card, get some balloons, and then probably like a couple minis. But nothing too crazy. I'm debating if I'm gonna get them a pair of shoes or not, because I know they want shoes. But like, I don't know, we'll see. I did a lot of work for school this morning before I went to the gym. So all I have to do is my lesson plans for the week, but I do want to show you this little project that I'm putting together this week. So it is Read Across America week. Where can I set you? My water bottle, maybe. Yeah, this will work. So it's Read Across America week, the second to the sixth. And Read Across America is like started by the National Education Association, but it's kind of rooted in Dr. Seuss. If you know me and you know like my social media and things like that, I don't necessarily support Dr. Seuss, nor do I have Dr. Seuss books in my library. Uh, if I remember, I'll leave some information in the description box below as to why I'm a Dr. Seuss free teacher, but Read Across America Week is really important, so I've kind of found a way to do something with it that does not have anything to do with Dr. Seuss. So, on Canva, I put together a little slideshow that I'm gonna show my kids for a project this week. Now, this week, we only have school Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then parent-teacher conferences are Thursday and Friday. So this is just like a little slide for me to be able to have my like elements and stuff like that all in a place. But this just talks about like what Read Across America is. Um, and then I have it laid out like how we're gonna celebrate it this week. 
We have, like I said, it's conference week, so we're doing our book fair this week. We're going to go do like a little book fair walk. I'm going to introduce the Book Bead Project, which is a project I'm about to talk to you about. It's so, so cool, and I'm so excited. Um, and then we're reading Watson's Go to Birmingham. We did that as a fourth grade team, just like a novel study for February. Um, and then on Wednesday, because that's technically their last day, it's pajama day. So we're going to watch the Watsons go to Birmingham movie um, because the way that my team and I set it out, we're supposed to be done reading the book this week. So the book bead project is basically, um, I found this book tracker through Cami, And what they're going to do is they're going to read a book obviously. Um, and then they're going to fill out like the book tracker and design like the little book title, the book covers or whatever for each book that they read. And I also have a Google form with just like basic information they have to fill out just to prove that they read the book. And in my classroom, I asked my principal for a table where I'm going to set up like a lot of the books that I want them to kind of get into because this group, they haven't really dug into my classroom library too much. So I'm gonna set out some books that I really think that they should get into. And then what we're gonna do is I am gonna create a little key for them. And for every genre that they read this week, they will get a bead. And I bought this bead thing yesterday at Walmart. It has like 18 different beads in it. Be bead colors, not beads. Um, and they're gonna make friendship bracelets to kind of match like what they read. So also at Walmart, I got this like stretchy, oh, are we not gonna be able to see that? Okay, that's fine. I got this stretchy like, what, why am I blanking out? Cord, bead cord, there we go. Um, I also got these, more for me, just because I just love little stuff like this. And my kids are really going through like the friendship bracelet phase right now. So I feel like they will find a way to, um, a way to utilize these letters. I don't think I'm gonna have enough for everybody to like write their name, but we'll figure it out. Maybe I can have them like choose one of the books that they liked the most and then have them just like, I don't know. These ones, like I said, I don't know what they're gonna be used for, but the color ones are really like the main purpose, the main thing. And then I also grabbed this like mini trifold project board and this is gonna get set up on my table um, about the beading project, about the Read Across America thing. So I'm gonna have to design this one later. But yeah, so at the end um, of like the presentation, we're gonna talk about the genres that we read Oh, this is just like the cans and cans of the project. And then I'm just going to kind of go through like what some of the different genres mean. And we're going to talk about it like that um, so that they know the types of books that they're picking. And it'll help them fill out the um, form a little better. So hopefully that makes sense. But I feel like this is going to be like a fun little activity to do for a short week of school. So I did that. Um, and then the only thing I have to do left is like actually do my concrete plans which really isn't too much because last week was so funky like we had two snow days one of them was a snow day one of them was remote monday i was at work tuesdays when i had my allergic reaction so i wasn't even at work wednesday was the remote day thursday was just canceled overall because the power half of the, the city didn't have power and then friday was just like another school day so we barely got anything done, so some of those plans from last week are going to transfer over to this week. So I'm going to have a lot of time to like do the reading project, and it's going to be fun. I'm just trying to like keep it cute. I also am going to take down like my theme for February, which was Black History Month and Valentine's Day, and I'm going to switch to my March theme, which is not St. Patrick's Day. It's actually March Madness. So my my classroom theme is going to be like basketball vibes because I just like grew up loving March Madness and I have a lot of fun March Madness activities and stuff planned for the kids. So all of that aside, I'm going to make my smoothie. I'm going to clean myself up, make myself look presentable, and then I'm going to head out to do those like errands for my sibling. So I will see you guys. <laughs>
I just do this really annoying thing now where I use like this Apple Watch band when I'm working out, but then I got this one from Target and it's just so cute. And I feel like even if it doesn't go with my outfit, it still looks better than wearing an athletic one, you know? You know? So let's do a little OOTD. It's going to be a weird angle, but that's fine. No, can't do this angle. We mustn't. <clears throat> all right. Here it is. So I am wearing, first of all, let's get into the hair. The hair, we got these little pigtails. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm not feeling the red hair anymore. I have visualized myself as Krusty the Clown, and now I can't unsee it. So, got earrings from Target. I'm wearing a jean jacket, plain black sweater, gray leggings, and then Yeezy Boost 700s. These are in the color electric blue. And then I'm just going to pair it with a black bag because I just don't want to do too much. And this bag is from Target. So... I'm going to head out. I don't think I'm going to bring my camera because this bag has my wallet in it and that's about as much space as I can get. So we're going to switch to the phone for vlogging purposes and I will see you wherever I okay. end up. I changed my pants. That's all I had to say. I'm wearing black pants now. So now I'm really going to go. Okay. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but places where there's not a lot of people that look like me, I feel like nervous. Like it was very busy. And it was a lot of people that like, you know, you know, you know, um, quick little haul. <clears throat> so I got their gift card. Um, it's their 21 birth 21st birthday. So I got them $21. I also just grabbed some plain bagels, some everything bagels because they actually introduced me to these, but my boyfriend just likes plain. I got the viral like beef burrito. I'm going to try this. Don't know if I'm gonna do this for dinner tonight because I'm kind of like in a pasta mood and I found this olive and basil pesto and I feel like that would be so good for pasta. So I need to go to the actual regular grocery store and get like cheese and I'll probably get some tortillas and stuff so I can do burrito tomorrow and just like be ready for that. But yeah, that's what I got. So now we're gonna head to a Dollar Tree and then I need to go to a gas station and get them a gift card. Then I need to head back to Kenosha because I'm like deep into Brookfield right now. And the drive was longer than it took me I to be in. I just went to the dollar Dallas, store. So. I just went to the one in Milwaukee. Um, I think I'm going to get the gas gift card when I get closer to their house. I do plan on making dinner tonight, but I need something in my stomach right now. So honestly, I'm just going to pull into the next thing that I see. That sounds good not gonna get anything crazy heavy though because I've been doing really well but I'm about 45 minutes away from their house so anywhere between there and here like that's just what I'm gonna get all right so I just stopped at quick trip I got their birthday um, gift card from there I also got them some sour candy because one of my si sisters said that they like sour candy and then I just got them like two little bottles of vodka because I mean I said I wasn't gonna do alcohol but it's 21 you know so it's just like commemorative but right now before I drop this off first of all I don't think they're home which is fine because it's fine um but I need to get something on my stomach y'all and when I tell you I almost just like let it all let it all go to shit in quick trip and almost got like 30 things in there but I pulled up at Popeyes because I just really love the Popeyes. Welcome to Popeyes. Order when you ready. Hi, can I just have a regular side of mac and cheese? Okay. That's it. I got a pour out. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So it is now Tuesday, February 28th. It's like 5:30 p.m. I honestly just got home from work because it is parent-teacher conference week. So some of the days are a little later and the past couple of days like already even though it's only tuesday i've just been so crazy at work so if i remember i'll record a little bit of what i do after school tomorrow because i'm probably gonna end up staying until five again but i did just get two amazon packages so what would be the purpose of getting a package and not recording it you know content for the girls 
package is ice mats for my table. Right now I have like a circular glass table and the cleaning of it has just been atrocious with like food and like glass overall is just so hard to keep up with. So I ordered some gray placemats. My chairs, let me see if you can see this. My chairs are like gray on the inside and like kind of tan on the outside. And I felt like because my table centerpiece is already tan, that the gray would be fine. And honestly, my last table centerpiece set was gray as well, but they were just square. So they're a little rolled up right now. So I'm gonna set my centerpiece on top of it, hopefully flatten that out. And then the second package that I got are stickers. So I ordered two packs of stickers off Amazon. I ordered these, um, it says like it's a feminist sticker pack just because March is International Women's Month. So I wanna integrate this into some of my rewards, sticker store stuff. If you know, you know. So just have to go through those and check those and make sure those are age appropriate for my children. And then my classroom theme, I'm pretty sure I already talked about it like earlier in this vlog, but my actual classroom theme for the month of March is basketball. So I got this pack of stickers that I thought was just basketball, but I think there's all sports in here. Man, I definitely thought that it was just basketball, but that's okay. Cause maybe it'll make the people who don't want like the feminist stickers, maybe it'll make them more comfortable. See like this one is like a half soccer ball, half basketball. Actually, most of these are basketball. Okay, that works. Never mind. All good. All clear. So, yeah, I just got some basketball stickers too to kind of just go along with the March Madness theme in the room. But yeah, that was really it. All I wanted to come on and show you. I'm trying my hardest not to like pull out my computer and start working again because I was really in a groove before I left like actual work. But I think I'm just gonna give myself like, we are your Chinese food for dinner. So until the food gets here, I'm going to probably do a little bit more work because I just wanna get ahead and stuff for next week and I don't have to worry about it, stress about it, think about it on Thursday and Friday when it's conference day. So yeah, that's my little update um, how the past couple of days have been. Uh, if you watched my last vlog, I had an allergic reaction from a medication and from that I was put on a steroid and this week is my last week with the steroid. I definitely feel like different and it could be in my head but I've just been very like, eh, you know? So I'm glad that this is almost done because I just feel like even when I was younger, steroids just affect my mood. like. They don't make me feel good or full, like wholly there. So I'm just trying to stay out of my head. Gonna work on that friendship bracelet, like bead stuff for my kids, probably do some slides and then get ready for tomorrow, which is just like a very chill pajama day type vibe. Um, didn't end up going to the gym this morning because I was so exhausted and like added to the freaking laundry list of things that I already have wrong with me. I'm pretty sure I have sciatica like some sciatic nerve damage nerve pain <clears throat> so that's really been like killing me too the past couple of days and i'm like dude i'm not even 30 yet but i feel like i'm like 60 and going through menopause so i don't want to talk about it anymore but yeah it's just a little update i'm going to <laughs>